Luigi, let me tell you something. It feels great to be back and out of that TV prison thing that Dr. Bones' stupid brother threw us in. Ah, the real world. I love it. It feels great. Yeah, I, I know what you're feeling. When I was trapped in that TV thing with you, it felt like a dark, endless abyss. Just walking. Trial after trial, not ending. None of it will end. And then one day you'll die. And then... Will it really matter? When I die? Dude, I think that TV place has fucked you up. Like, seriously. Yeah, I know too. I mean, I can't even look at the TV anymore without feeling scared. Which sucks, because I love TV. I mean, I'm a TV-aholic, man. But in all seriousness... It's great to be back. And I need to right my wrongs, because when I, I'm i king of the Mushroom Kingdom, and I've been gone for two months trapped in a TV virtual world created by a psychopath, and I ha the first thing I did as king of the Mushroom Kingdom was a nuke Green Hill Zone. Yeah, you really, you really fucked up there, and I don't think anyone's going to forgive you. No one's going to forgive me for that. Uh, and I think that, you know, I need to try... I need to try being good and doing some good things uh, because everyone loves a good president. I mean, that's why everyone loves Donald Trump. Nobody loves Donald Trump. Where are you getting that idea? Everybody hates him. He is a douchebag. Dude, everyone loves Donald Trump. No. No, they don't. I mean, pff, who else was there? Clinton? Oh, Hillary Clinton. See, nobody voted for her. Everyone voted for Trump because everyone liked Trump. Hillary Clinton was just a bitch. I disagree. You want to disagree with me? You want to disagree with me? Yes, yes, we had a big, big, huge problem on our hands. Like, seriously, it's huge, it's massive. I screwed up, I screwed up big time, and I need your help. I need your help, like, right now, right now. God, Dr. Bones, what did you do? I may have started a crystal meth fire in my, um, my nice little uh, doctor's office that you gave me. You started the crystal meth fire? First of all, I didn't know that you made crystal meth. Well, I'm a doctor in more than one way. I'm a doctor and I'm actually a real doctor. I have a PhD, which stands for a pissing gorilla dick. That is not at all what it stands for. Like, well, first of all, the PhD, uh, what you said, pissing gorilla dick, is a PGD, not a PhD. You got that completely and utterly wrong. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. And my second medical license is in medical uh, drug professor. Professor, yeah. It means I can make drugs. That is not a real thing. Yeah, Dr. Bones, you're basically a drug dealer. Nobody likes a fucking drug dealer. I am not a drug dealer, okay? I am a doctor. You know, seriously, that fire is burning down the entire house. You might want to help me put that bitch out. Come on! Oh, god damn it! We're in this nice, awesome castle for once, and then the first thing that happens is the fucking crystal meth fire. God damn it! Where's the post? Where's the fire? We gotta put this fire out. Where's the fire? Yeah, let's put this fire. What? What's with the iced tea? Well, well, my dear brother Luigi, the iced tea is for putting out the fire. Oh, yeah, like, put you're gonna put out the fucking fire with an iced tea. Iced tea's gonna put out the fire. Where do I see you having a fire extinguisher? Good point. Dr. Bones, where's the meth fire? I lied about that. I completely lied to you. Why did you lie to me? Simple. I wanted to get you here to show you this. That right there is ten coins. Ten. Damn it. There we go. Ten gold, beautiful coins. And they're all yours if you just... Uh, do me a solid. I will not legalize drugs. Come on, man. From one good friend to another, drugs could... So many beautiful benefits in this kingdom. This kingdom is going to shit. There's like terrorists and murders in every fucking corner. I don't think that drugs is going to help with that. If I legalize them, I'm not going to legalize drugs. I'm not a dumbass. Come on. At least do me a solid and legalize marijuana. No. How about you get out of my house? This is my lab. My, my office. My doctor's place. This is where I do all my work and you're kicking me out? Out of it. Get out of my doctor's office. This is my house. Out of my doctor's office. Out. Out. Now. Okay, fine. Well, that was a load of shit. I completely and utterly agree with you. But first of all, you're right. Well, no, actually, I brought it up, so I am right. 
I'm gonna go right my wrongs, Mario. C can you order a pizza before you go? Damn it, I should've asked him before he left. I'm hungry as shit. Hello, and welcome to Toadsworth News. I am your host, Kirby, with an umbrella. I know what you're thinking. Where the fuck is Toadsworth? Uh, he's the host of the show. Well, that lucky son of a bitch is in Fiji right now, banging his wife. Lucky fucking asshole. After that big, you know, the Ouija being president thing, he's like fucking taking a break, and I'm fucking here. They call me from Dreamland. Hey, you're a reporter from Dreamland. I'll get your ass here and do it for the fucking Mushroom Kingdom. And the pay's worse. The pay is worse in a kingdom that makes more money than my kingdom. How the fuck does that work? But that doesn't matter. I'm here today with the king of the kingdom that can maybe answer some questions that the people of this kingdom have been asking. King Luigi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, isn't this where people are supposed to clap? Yes, but the thing is, nobody likes you. And I had to pay each and every one of the audience members not to either boo you or shoot you. you fucking asshole. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all the fans right out there live are wondering one question, Luigi. You were absent the first two months of your presidency. You mind fucking explaining that? You, will you just take a vacation? Oh, I got elected, I got elected mayor. Woo! Mayor or king, what the fucking matters? And I'm gonna take a vacation. You don't do that, man. Okay, I have a story. Uh, Dr. Bones with wings. You all know who he is? Uh, yeah, the famous doctor. Exactly. Well, he has a brother. His brother's name is Dr. Bones. And they got in a fight. It, totally, one of them did not totally frame the other. It was, a, it was a normal brotherly fight. And Dr. Bones with wings wanted to get back at his brother by killing everyone that he loved. And then like, Dr. Bones kind of like, we, we, me and Mario and him were friends. And so Dr. Bones with wings was going to get back at Dr. Bones by throwing me and Mario into uh, a TV. Like we were actually inside the TV. We were trapped in the computer and like TV and video game stuff. And we had to travel way through there. And then my, my friend, uh, Dr. Bones and Blue, they busted their ass out of here. And here we are today. So basically what he's trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is our friend Luigi was just on a big two month long Drug trip, bitch. No, no, I was, I was trapped in, in the TV. Drug addiction. Okay, okay. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna say something. Uh, I bet you, you all know who I nuked. Green Hill Zone. Yeah, man. What the fuck was up for that? They get mad at your country because you know they, they, they screwed you over, and then so they're gonna, you know, they're gonna bring you to court, bring the whole country, the Mushroom Kingdom, to court. And you nuke him! You nuke him! What the fuck was up with that? Well, uh, I, I powered... You know what? You don't want to hear excuses, so let me tell you something. I did it because it was stupid. And I'm sorry. And I'm gonna make it up by apologizing like a man. Oh, that big man apologizing for killing thousands of people with a nuke. That ain't gonna do shit. Those people died. Not one per. Oh, actually, Sonic and like Tails and everyone. They 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 survived the Green Hill Zone nuke. Uh, but but yeah, thousands of people died, and you can't just fucking say I'm sorry for that. People died, jackass. No one's ever gonna forgive you for that. So I think I'm. That's that's we're gonna end the show today. Thank you for watching Tulsa News. I've been your host, Kirby with an umbrella. Oh shit, I really fucked up. So Mario, did you watch the TV? You, did you see me on the TV with my big apology? Yeah, I saw you on the TV, and I saw the reporter make you his bitch. What do you mean? He just went up there and he completely dissed you. He's like, you're a bitch, but you're my bitch. Luigi, you can't just apologize for nuking people. You killed thousands of people. No one's ever going to forgive you for that. That's a genocide. You're basically the Mushroom Kingdom a version of Hitler. And everybody hates Hitler. I mean, just look at every single show out there. There's at least one joke on Hitler. Because the guy's a douchebag. Fuck Hitler. I mean, uh, let's, I'm going to make a joke on Hitler right now. If Hitler was alive right now, I would shoot him. Ten times in the head with a gun. Because he's an asshole. Fuck Hitler. But seriously, Luigi, no one's going to forgive you for that. Okay? You got to go out there. You got you to gotta show them you're sorry. You got to do groundwork, man. I mean, they're not going to forgive you if you do groundwork, but that way you're at least showing that you give a shit. Okay, you're right. But I, I booked a meeting right now, so I'm going to need to get the fuck out of my room. What? Well, you're, you're, you know, my first lady, so you're my bitch. Get the fuck out of my room. I'm not your first lady. I'm your first brother. We've been over this. No, I don't have a wife or a girlfriend. 
And so I made you my first lady. And so get the fuck out of my room. I'm, I'm your first brother. I'm you know, my first lady. Get the fuck out of my room. I'm your first brother. We went over that. The name change. Get the fuck out of my room. Okay. All right. I bet you the two of you are wondering why I called you in this meeting. Yes, I am. Um, actually, yes, I am. The last time I saw you, you were you were very rude. And then I actually helped save you from the computer program. So I hope this is a thank you. It's better than a thank you. I wronged you when I became a president. I threw him in jail, and I threatened you to life. Uh, didn't you, uh, didn't you threaten Yoshi's life? Shouldn't you be apologizing to Yoshi? Dude, that guy's just a drug junkie. I don't give a shit. Fuck him. But anyway, you know my cousin, Cousin Mario. And I love you, and I came to tell you something. <gasps> oh my god, you're pregnant. Oh my god, I'm having a... A nephew or a niece? I'm not the, what? No, I'm not, I'm not pregnant, you dumbass. I'm here to tell you that fucking washing machines is a, is legal. <gasps> you legalized that for me? Oh my god, thank you. No, it never was illegal. It was always legal. N the thing is, nobody did it. No one got home from work and thought, I'm going to fuck my washing machine today. That's how, that's how I get my horniness out. I fuck a washing machine. Nobody does that. It's, it's legal. You can go do it right now. Thank you so much. Get off of me or I'm going to call the police for rape. And trust me, I've been through rape and I hate it. Get out. Okay, go fuck your washing machine. Thank you so much. God. That's your cousin. Yes, it is. It's one weird son of a bitch. But that doesn't matter. Okay, I've come to offer you a deal. A once in a lifetime opportunity that I know you won't be able to turn down. Oh, yeah? What is it? Well, let me tell you. But first of all, we're going to do a jump cut to me doing something else. And after I do that one thing, we're going to be live on TV where we revealed it. Let's get the suspense going, bitches. Oh, yeah. Let's get the suspense going. Bitch. Ah, oh, now I wanted to, uh, uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you, Luigi. I mean, I know you come here to see one of our most wanted criminals of all time. Uh, but I want to thank you for apologizing for nuking Green Hill Zone, because an apology always works, and it, it makes you the bigger man. Yeah, see, I told my Mario, I told my brother Mario uh, that an apology always works. He's like, no, you gotta do groundwork. People are never gonna forgive you because you killed thousands of people. Pfft. Apology always works, man. I mean, one time I nuked, I, I, one time, well, I didn't nuke, I'm talking about your story, but one time I shot uh, my cousin's wife, and all I did was say sorry to both of them, and they forgave me. See, that's, that's all it takes is that I'm sorry, because that shows you're the bigger man than you care. See, exactly. Hey, whatever happened to that bullet bill warding? Oh, he told the kid how to release all the prisoners, and the kid actually did it. It was sort of like the apocalypse. Yeah, he got fired. Actually, no, he died. The kid hit him with wrapping paper. But he, I like to pretend he's fired, and I got hired. It makes me feel like I have a bigger self-esteem, so, yeah. But anyway, the prisoners are right down there. All right, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you for the apology. Ah, oh, Luigi, have you come here to apologize for throwing me in jail? No! God, no. You threw me and Mario in the TV, and you tortured us, and you wanted us dead. You are dead to me, and I'm going to leave you here to rot in prison, okay? Fuck you. God damn it, will someone just get me a latte? Oh. Hey, Luigi. Are you here to apologize and you and me can team up on Mario because you realize the whole time he's playing you and we're going to kill his ass? No, I'm not. And I can clearly see that you've been biting your way out of this prison cell, but that doesn't matter. Because, uh, I'm here to make you a deal. Oh, are you now? I'm very aware that you have a son, Bowser Jr., who has never really had a mother because she had another job, and when she got let go of that job, she tried, she, you know, she started to be a nice woman and hang out with her son. But then she, she... Something cracked in her head and she went all nuts. And then she, she raped me. And I will never forgive you for that rape. And then she tried to kill me and my brother in when we were stuck in the TV. I will never forgive you for that either. I'm here because I want to change. I want to become a better person. And to do that, I need to give Junior the one thing he's never had. A mother. So I'm not asking you if you want this deal. I am making you... Do this deal. I am making you. You are to live with Junior and Bowser and that fat chef. 
as a normal family, and you will give him the mother he always wanted, and I am going to send you a warning. If you step one foot off of that property, I will get the whole Secret Service and the army to shoot you with whatever artillery you have. You are not to leave the house, not even for groceries, not even for a pack of cigarettes. You ask Bowser or that fat chef to get it for you. For God's sake, if you step off that property, I will end you. Now come on, let's go. Oh yeah, take that, bitch. Blue shell, oh, damn. I knock at the door. I'm going to get it, but before I do, I know what you're thinking. Hey, wasn't this Mario and Luigi's room? Yes, it was. Now, as if you are aware and watching our update videos, you know we have struggle moving. And we're not rich as fuck, because honestly, what are we, a fucking celebrity? So, uh, we're going to use this room for Mario and Luigi's room, and we're going to use it as my room and pretend it's a different house. So suck it up, because we ain't rich, bitch. Now, if you don't mind, I got to go answer that door. Okay, there you go. Oh, uh, hey, Junior. You might want to come somewhere comfortable to talk. Uh, this is really important. All right, I'll bring you down to the living room. All right, what did you want me to tell you about? Okay, let's be... Oh, hey, Bowser. Hey, what's up, bitch? Uh, you here to thank me for saving your ass in the TV? Well, thank you, first of all, but I'm here to do something for your son. And it'd actually be great. You could sit here and talk with us. Ah, oh, bitch, Chef Homer's making me Mr. Noodles. I'm gonna go watch some Spongebob and watch Mr. Noodles. See you later, Green Mario. It's my dad for you. Lazy. It's the man that raised me. For some reason, I'm not half as lazy as he is. But that's what I came here about. You don't have a mother. What will you do but she's a total bitch? Yeah, I could've told you that. I'm in here to give you something that no one else could give you. This is your cue! Come in! Come on! Sorry, I was using the ladies' room. M Mom? Yes, as I'm pretty sure to wear, this is your uh, bitch deadbeat mother. And I have given you her the opportunity to give you a childhood. I know you're 14 years old and you can take fucking care of yourself. But I'm pretty sure you want a mother. And so that's what I'm going to give you. A mother. Now, just a note. Uh, if she steps off the property, she will be shot and she that will kill her. So, uh... The moment she steps out of the property, that is a suicide attempt on her behalf, and she will be shot. But otherwise, I hope you have a good, uh, well, I guess it's your teenage years now. Uh, happy 14th teenage year. I know. Uh, I'm just going to get out of here because I have something important to do. See ya. God's sake, I can't believe they called me in the fucking studio again. It's a fucking Friday. I got wife and kid for the fuck's sake. But anyway, welcome to Toadsworth News. I am your host. Kirby with an umbrella. And we're back here with Ouija, dipshit president, that went cuckoo in the head, and the toad. And he's got some big news to tell us that nobody cares about. So tell us so I can get my way back to my wife and kids and our lovely barbecue that we're having before I got the phone call that told me I need to get my ass back into work because the fucking king of the Mushroom Kingdom wants to do another TV news thing. So let's hurry this up, shall we? First of all, I, I made a lot of mistakes and I'm never going to... Never going to be forgiven for them, but from now on, I want I want to make a good start. I want to become a good president. And what other good way to start assigning roles to people, to start getting other people to do important shit that I don't want to do. And clearly as hell, I ain't doing the, the nature, uh, no, the nature. It's called the nature party, Luigi, where they make all the nature decisions and everything. Oh yeah, I don't give a shit about that. I'm here to give it to Toad, because Toad is a good friend of mine, and he knows a lot about nature. And, um, he is a good decision maker, and he's going to do a good job where I failed miserably. Yes, I'm Captain Toad, you may know me, I'm a famous treasure tracker. Uh, but before we get it going on with my plan, I'm going to ask Luigi and this kind little Kirby with an umbrella to scooch over for my guest. This is my lovely wife, Toadette, and she is going to own 50% of the nature party. So it's going to be me and her that are going to own the, oh, uh, most of it, and the Toads are also going to pitch in as some of the other nature parties. Well, that's a bad decision to give your wife half of something you own because when she divorces you she's gonna take it into court like a bitch and because she's a girl she's gonna walk away with it dude you just fucked up on your part but that doesn't matter here's my plan for the nature I think so we have quite a lot of forests in the mushroom kingdom and my goal 
is to chainsaw them down, cut each and every one of the trees down, and completely obliterate the beautiful forest and nature we have in the Mushroom Kingdom to build a golf course. And of course, me being Cat and Toad, uh, I look for treasure. And if we find it in each other, we're going to donate it to the local charity, because charity is important in my eyes. But yes, that is what we're going to do for the nature. We're going to cut down the forest for a golf course. Yes, and it's going to be a beautiful golf course. It's going to be a little lobby where all the women can hang out and drink lemonade and talk and gossip about their husbands. It's going to be sweet. Oh my god, that, that is a great decision. I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad that the Ouija's freaking king of the mushroom kingdom. That is the best decision I've heard all day. I don't even care that you kill a thousand people. That decision was awesome. You, my friend, are going to make a good king. Really? Oh, thank you. Anyway, that is it for Toad Source News. I am Kirby with an umbrella, signing off. Stupid Luigi, that bastard took everything from me. And look at that Toad, the, the reporter. Oh, I'm Kirby with an umbrella. He's praising him like he's a god. All he's doing is building a stupid golf course. <gasps> I can't believe it. Why is he doing that? Why is he cutting down all the forest? That's not right. They're beautiful and they help us breathe. He should have at least consulted a vote from all the people of the Mushroom Kingdom. Are you really having a piss fit over this? I am not having a piss fit. The forest is a very important and great environment for us. And it is my duty as a Yoshi a citizen to, to, you know, stop this. Because us Yoshis were born and raised in the forest. We love the forest. We get butt hurt when someone cuts down the forest. And I'm not going to protest. I'm going to go right to the source and bitch Luigi. How dare he do this? Ah, you're just butt hurt because he didn't ask you to be the stupid forest party leader, whatever the hell that is. Oh my god! A rerun of Golden Girls is on! Yeah! So Luigi, so Mario, what do the people of the Mushroom Kingdom think of me now? Oh my god, dude, you wouldn't believe it. They're, they're praising you, they're loving you. That golf course idea that Toad made, it, it saved your ass. They love it, they love the idea. How dare you! First of all, I am your friend, and I was clearly born and raised in the forest, and you know how much I love the forest, and I think I should have been offered the role as, you know, the forest party. So you honestly just hear the butt hurt about not being offered the forest party position? No, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm here to, to tell you that you need to stop Toad in what he's doing. It's Captain Toad, get it right. I don't care. The forest is beautiful and it's lovely and I was born and raised in it and now they're going to cut it down and kill every cute little critter that's in there. Oh, oh no, they're killing squirrels. Now those bastards can stop stealing my fucking nuts. God, thank God. No, you don't. You can't let this happen. Luigi, you gotta stop it. No, I'm sorry, but the people want this. And I, as their king, have to abide by it. If this is what the people want, the people are getting it. Oh, yeah, and then people are going to love that saying, bro. Really? You think so? Well, fine, then. There was one point in my life, Luigi, where I would have called you friend. But you ruined that. You're killing nature. You're a monster. And I will do everything in my power to stop this. You will hear it from me. Oh, and I, I heard you guys were ordering pizza. Remember to get me a vegetarian. I know what you want, Blue. Thank you. But I will do everything in my power to stop this. Yeah, don't worry, Luigi. She's just butt hurt because you didn't offer him the job of forest party or whatever. But seriously, bro, your ratings are up the roof. People love you. You're a great king of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's the bro I know, and that's the first lady I picked. Man, we went over this. I'm called the first brother. Hey guys, it's Bajina1, back with actual stuffy video. Of course, all my long-term friend fans know that I haven't been making a stuffy videos for a month straight because I've been in the process of a move in the, you know, we haven't found a house yet because the original guy we were buying the house from uh, backed out like a douchebag. Uh, so we were like struggling to find a house for a while and then I originally was going to wait to start filming until we found a house, but I realized it's a month. Uh, my fans want a new stuffy video, and that's what I'm going to give them. So I started to film uh, at my uh, grandparents' house, which we're filming all the Let's Plays. And of course, you noticed uh, I'm only filming in a certain area of the house, because usually people occupy the uh, other area of the house and don't want to bother them. And uh, so, yeah, you're usually only going to see a few areas of the house uh, per episode, like you saw the bathroom. 
uh, the laundry room, uh, my bedroom, and uh, the bottom stairs, like, guy hangout room. So, yeah, and I'm thank I want to thank you, longtime fans, for your patience and your, you know, your just kindness for waiting this long for season four. But season four is out now, and since I verified my channel... The episodes are longer. This is already a 25-minute episode. That's a long time. But anyway, Season 4 is back on the road. Instead of having two Let's Plays a week now, we're going to have one Let's Play and a stuffy video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, you're all awesome. Bye-bye. By the way, I thought I probably should mention this before the video ends. The schedule is back to normal. Uh, so now on, uh, one stuffy video a week and one Let's Play a week. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You're awesome. Bye-bye.